Everyone likes to head out on the lake, but have you ever wondered how does an outboard motor work? In this brief explanation video, we will look at two and four cycle motors and how the power produced from the motor reaches the propeller. Let's take a look. The two-stroke engine is light and powerful as there is only an up motion and down motion before the engine cycle begins again. The first stroke is when the piston moves down and the intake and exhaust valves open, allowing air and gas to enter the combustion chamber. Stroke two begins as the piston moves up and the air and gas is compressed. Just as the piston finishes the second stroke, the spark plug ignites the air-gas mixture, and this is the beginning of the next first stroke. A two-stroke engine is less efficient than a four-stroke engine because of the opportunity for unspent gas to be exhausted since the intake and exhaust valves are open at the same time. The four-stroke engine is more fuel efficient and also powerful. There are two up motions and two down motions resulting in four strokes. The first stroke is when the piston moves down and only the intake valve opens to allow air and gas to enter the combustion chamber. The second stroke is when the air-gas mixture is compressed by the upward moving piston. When the piston reaches the top of the second stroke, the spark plug ignites the air-gas mixture which expands, sending the piston down on the third stroke. The fourth stroke is when the piston starts to come back up and the exhaust valve opens to release the spent gases. When the piston reaches the top, the next four stroke cycle begins. These motors are more efficient but are usually reserved for larger sized applications in the marine industry. This is also how the engine works in your gasoline powered car as you drive down the road. The drive shaft assembly in the bottom of the outboard motor is near the propeller. There are only a few parts and they are the drive shaft in the color orange, the propeller shaft or prop shaft for short in blue, the shifter in yellow, the clutch in pink, the forward gear in green, and the reverse gear in red. As the rotational motion is transferred from the crank shaft to the drive shaft, the drive shaft, forward, and reverse gears rotate whenever the engine is running. However, in neutral, as currently shown, the prop shaft is not rotating and this is when the clutch is not interacting with either the forward or reverse gears. When the shift rod applies an upward force, the shifter rotates counterclockwise and this moves the clutch towards the left to the forward gear. This interaction of the clutch and the forward gear causes the prop shaft to spin, thus spinning the propeller forwards. When the shift rod applies a downward force, the shifter rotates clockwise and this moves the clutch to the right towards the reverse gear. This interaction of the clutch and the reverse gear causes the prop shaft to spin, thus spinning the propeller backwards. Thank you for watching this brief explanation video on two-stroke and four-stroke motors and how the power produced from the motor reaches the propeller. Thank you again and we'll see you out on the lake.